How are you guys doing? It's Sip here. Welcome back to another episode of PES 2016 My Club. We have a couple of highlights of four matches. Let's jump into the action. Alright you guys, we're jumping straight into the action. We are using Roberto Mancini, the Inter Milan manager. The only problem with him, his management skill is quite low. So you can see, I am filling my bench with white players. I'm not doing that on purpose. My manager's uh, management skill is low. Opponent's team spirit is 49. He's got a decent team. Why would you go online with that team spirit? I don't know. Terrible mistake from Coyote there. Ronaldo comes in. Of course, what we know where we're gonna, what's going to happen to Ronaldo. In this episode, guys, we have the highlights of about four to five matches, and I'm going to walk you through some simple tips regarding attacking in general and how to counter in general. Now, taking in fact that we all have different teams, whether you play my club or you play normal online divisions, it depends what team you are using if you are a counter um, player. However, tactics matters. I find out the basic method of counter when it comes to tactically. It's obviously counter attack, short pass, attacking area, wide or center, doesn't matter. And I found out defensively that using all out defense and um, aggressive works the best because we all know when you counter, you'd be expecting to get countered as well. As you can see, this match, look what's happening here. As soon as, that's, that's the method that I always use, guys. Absorb pressure deep, intercept and counter. And this is exactly what happened right there. You just gotta have a third eye when you attack, guys. One of the best tips that I can give you when you play, I mean, some people say, you know, I can't beat this guy or he's got a better team, everybody's using Byron. Why do you think some of us are better than the others? It's all about, never mind, put the tactics aside, put your knowledge about football in general aside. Is your vision, how good are you to read opponent's style? How good are you to read opponent's next step? How good is your third vision? Third vision is, the first vision is your eye on your player. The second is your eye on your teammate. And the third, that's the third vision, is your eye on your opponent. Robin comes here, destroys the opponent with the dribbling against a counter deep attack as well here. I'm winning 4-1, there's no time to rush it. But again, you can see how I actually start my attack. It's all about trying to drag the team to come at you. And when they come at you, that's where you find spaces. The basic method is in attacking guys, 1-2s are pretty OP this year. And one of the problems that a lot of people do, when you do a 1-2, don't be predictable. If you're going to do a 1-2 with two players, obviously the player who makes the pass, he's the one is going to be making a run. And you don't need to give it back to that player. So that's our first match, we won 5-1, we're going to jump straight into our second match. In the middle of this episode, I have certain points where I'll be posing the game and analyzing how to counter. In this division, we've basically, we won four matches on a row, undefeated, and you will see the progress um, till the end. So when it comes to 0-2, 1-2 is pretty, pretty OP this year, guys. There's a difference between 1-2 and pass and move. 1-2, we all know 1-2 can be done. What a cheeky pass from Robin. Of course, Neymar is going to finish it. When it comes to the difference between 1-2 and pass and move, is that with 1-2 is L1 and pass. The player will make a run, but if you stop, if you turn around, if you're trying to look at into spaces, the player will stop running. The difference there is that if you make pass and move, which is R2 and pass together and let go, the player will make a run all the way to opponent's half. Normally, if I want to be offensive, uh, I simply give the guy a gift there, by the way. <laughs> I do these classic mistakes on all the time. Uh, now you can see, here's a good example. Right there, again, intercept and counter. Doesn't matter if the opponents win the ball. If you position your player right, it will go there. Robin here comes in with a cheeky pass and then cheeky finish. Well, he done a cheeky pass before. Again, here there are many examples. I will walk you through the how to do pass and move and triangle passing in your third vision. Now, right here, you can see I am not rushing my attack. I want the opponent to come at me. Look at here. Look at this triangle. There are many other triangles. These triangles will allow you to do pass and move, third man pass and move, and one twos. And look at these spaces that I can lob the ball, or I can do pass along the ground, or I can manually do put the ball into a space for a player to make a run. So the choices, as you can see, I have a lot of choices, whether Neymar, whether Griezmann, whether Robin, whether to go on the flank. But what I do here, look at Robin. I'm using Robin as a decoy. He's making a run, but I didn't give the ball to him. 
basically mess up his defense. Now this situation right there it could have been lucky that I got the ball back but in general this is basically an example I'm giving you right there. You have to have your vision. Maybe you would think oh wait how am I supposed to take a note of all these things that you showed me? Well guys this is what makes a player or a gamer better than the others because some people had great vision some doesn't right now I'm on matter Indy to intercept that I switched to Berzagli and I simply joke it you gotta predict where the opponent is gonna put the ball you just gotta take a good guess that's all I mean if I know somebody's a good dribbler there are smart players who plays online what a dribble from Griezmann you gotta know how your opponents plays normally when I play I basically give the pitch to the opponent the first maybe couple of minutes just to see what it goes another great dribbling from Neymar the Neymar ID ball rollover and the McGee turn well the ball rollover that one is actually only Neymar can do that and again you know what's gonna happen so when it comes to attacking guys I mean this this is basically not an attack in tutorials I already have a video regarding uh, attack in tutorials tactic based only and this video I'm giving you some tips regarding counter-attack hopefully in the future I will make a video specifically for attacking tutorials how to attack in general but in this one I wanted to take these matches as an example because I finally found a counter manager that I really really like and I have been decent with him an upcoming episode I have even a better manager and you will see how I counter I have some live stream highlights from twitch and as I said once I gain my second monitor I'll start be doing um, live cam and live comment show while I'm actually playing it's more fun when you actually see me play even though I believe face cam is not necessary unless you play in a skater game another chance you can see here guys when you play with three strikers you can literally turn your middle striker into an anchor point you know you can make that guy a passer hold the ball spread it to the flanks and you can see right there guys um, I don't really spam long balls that was a great example I soon as I when you sometimes when I am getting pressured a lot that's the only way to be pressure guys you see me I do a variety of different things you know some people uh, they say oh I'm spamming long balls or you know I don't know I mean there is a lot of people who dissatisfied about um, how I play sometimes but the way that I see it guys if I see a space for a long ball I'll do it if I see a space a gap in your team I will run into it if I see a chance to mess up your defense with a pass and move in one two I'll do it so I mix it up you gotta try it to be no predictive no predictable do everything that the games will allow you to do you need a better vision to read opponents mind and take half three visions one's on your player one on your teammate and one on your opponent's teammate uh, in this example you can see obviously the opponents coming at me I concede goals I scored goals this is just a part of the game mistakes always happen he scores a goal that's not a uh, well I did score that goal but in general you know I concede goal as well I get beaten badly as well sometimes if you know what I mean but when it comes to the long ball tactic I don't really long ball alone but anyway guys hope you finally enjoyed the video as you can see we were undefeated in this episode in the upcoming episode I've got some highlights from Twitch we are using another um, counter manager and then after that hopefully I will get my um, second monitor and I'll do live commentary with the face cam. I've been safe guys until next time. Ciao for now.